Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave, and with me today is... Phenoxo! And we're playing, as you can probably tell already, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, which is the first Uncharted game. I'm not because... actually playing. No. Uh, I'm just stalking Dave. It's true. He is stalking me. Literally just looking at his computer monitor through the internet with my sweet hacks. <laughs> uh, we had to go through some calisthenics to make sure that this game would record and be visible online. So Wait, wait calisthenics? No, wait. Acrobatics? Okay, that, that's a little more appropriate. Whatever. So, I can't play on Crushing because uh, this is a brand new save file, so I don't have that unlocked. But we'll just play on Normal. Easy, Normal, or Erect. Which difficulty will you choose? <laughs> Soft and flaccid. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that, I think that's the difficulty me and Sonara played. Uh, oh, hell. What's the other game? The zombie game. Last of Us. I haven't played that, actually. Oh man, we we played that, or, or rather, she played that, and I just sat there and drank beer, uh, <laughs> and it was a great time. Uh, apparently, she gets way better at reading when she's drinking. Huh? Like when she's dead sober, she'll sit there and be like dropping "us" in or stuttering every now and again. When yeah. she's had a couple drinks, she just reads through it perfectly. Huh? Yeah. Well, this is taking a while to load because, again, first time I played game data was needs to be. This is actually one of the first PlayStation games that didn't have install times because it literally ran off the disc and installed maybe, like, a couple of megabytes, which was actually really impressive because Blu-ray, load times, all that stuff. There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. Oh, uh, is that the main character? No. Is that a quote from him? No. <laughs> oh, His name's Drake. Subtitles on. Subtitles on. Here off the coast of also cinematic. Just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over what, 400 they... years ago. In an awesome stone coffin, apparently. <laughs> sure you aren't Metal. Defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. That'd be hella expensive. <laughs> So the interesting thing about all uh, about the scenes in this game, and in fact in the entire series, is that um, the uh, there's hot blondes with cameras. True, all of the characters that you see, like all the motion capture here, is all done by the actors that did their voices. So, ooh, that just sounds like a good idea. Wow. Coffin was watertight despite being on the bottom of the ocean. If my show hadn't have funded this That's why I had to use a crowbar to open it. Story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you Those a ancient contract. engineers. <laughs> so good. <laughs> they know what they were they knew what they were doing. Probably the same guys that build the traps in Indiana Jones. Yeah. Uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Also, the dialogue in this game is amazing. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Last of Us was fantastically written. Yeah. They don't take prisoners. That game made Sonara cry multiple Wait, times. What are you talking about? Also, I love that he has a suitcase that's foam lined to hold Makarovs. We don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? <laughs> yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But, well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's like a camera. You just. So. The, they're not pirates coming after them. They're police. No, they're, they're pirates. Here we go. He, she's saying, why don't we call the authorities? And he's like, well, we're not actually oh. supposed to be here. Okay. So, <laughs> so, if you haven't figured it out already, this game is uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, a, modern, a modern day Indiana Jones. It, it's male Tomb Raider. It's yeah. Fine. Which is totally cool. Speaking of which, I really should play the new Tomb Raider game sometime. Like, which one? Rise of the Tomb good. Raider? Or? They both look like... I assume they're both of approximately similar quality. Well, the the first Tomb Raider was, was really... Uh, the first new Tomb Raider, I should say, was really good. I mean, it had its moments of, are you fucking kidding me? But, I mean, that's true of any game. So, oop, I need bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. These pirates are derpy. Good thing it's the beginning of the game, huh? 
Oh, there he is. Okay. Punch, punch, punch. Done. <laughs> Unconscious. Unconscious. Oh, what? That was a direct hit, and he didn't even react. Bullshit. Oh, man, I couldn't even tell. The video has gotten so choppy. Sorry. It's yeah, fine. I expected it. Enemies killed by a brutal combo. Blah, I can talk. Drop more ammo. Mm hmm. Two times ammo, in fact. How do I freaking reload? So, punching there out your enemies gives you more ammo. Well, video games. I wasn't complaining. Like, as a <laughs> game mechanic, uh, that's the, a well, good way to encourage people to go into melee before they run out of ammo. Yeah. And to make it a little more forgiving when they do run out of ammo. On crushing, this one sequence is one of the hardest things in the go. Okay, that guy's got a big machine gun. That doesn't surprise me. On, um... Okay, this is an older not... game, but ha Halo 2 on Legendary, that first level in the space station was just, like, the worst thing for me to get through. Yeah. On Legendary. Ha Halo 2 on Legendary, the hardest part was, like, the first... Oh, crap. It, it was oh, the station crap. and then memorizing all the jackal locations yeah. in the sniping areas, because they would one-shot you. Okay, the ship is exploding. That's probably bad. <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> wow, this is such an, such an action movie. Have you ever seen the... The whole ship's going to randomly explode for no reason. Oh, no, because they were shooting it with the giant machine gun and it hit something, but whatever. Hog wild. Have you ever seen the show uh, Haven? No. No. Oh. It's on sci-fi? No? Okay. I don't want... I, I literally don't watch anything on actual TV networks. Yeah. Except for, like, Cartoon Network. When I have my daughter. <laughs> or Disney Junior. Well, yeah. Disney. So... Uh, I don't remember who plays Sully. Um, Nolan North is Nathan Drake, which you probably could tell by his voice. Yeah. And, um, and uh, Elena Fisher is Emily Rose, who looks almost exactly like em <laughs> Elena Fisher. So. This is before they started doing like the face scan for stuff. Yep. Oh man, like in Halo Five. Uh, Nathan Fillion looks so good. Yeah. It's like he's gone back in time to your Firefly days. Oh, man. That's the weirdest thing, too, right? When you watch a show, and then you realize it was, like, 20 years ago, and the character just looks so young. Like, Harrison Ford in The Fugitive was 20 years ago, and you're just like, wow. He doesn't look old at all. Oh, man. In, in the Star Wars trailer where they're talking about how all of the, you know, the legends are all true or whatever. Yeah. He looks so old in that scene. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for that movie to come out, man. It's going to come out in a couple of days. Next week, yeah. actually, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to wait a little bit, though, because the nearest movie theater to Samara is, like, four hours from her. Yeah. And I've committed to seeing it at the same time as her. Which makes sense. So it'll be a couple days after it comes out till she can see it. So I'll, I'll be the good boyfriend and wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for those people who didn't know, from Oxone Scenario dating, so. My, my Canadian girlfriend, it's fine. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Dun dun dun. That was a impeccably preserved map. Humanity didn't do anything to it. <laughs> well, it's probably like on leather or something instead of actually paper. But yeah, so in case you missed all of that somehow, the uh, they're going to go looking for El Dorado. The City of Gold. What? They didn't have insurance. <laughs> She's really. 
I love Elena. She's hilarious. Wait, how is the camera fine? They dove off the boat and swam through the ocean. You didn't see her holding it up above the water? I think it's also waterproof because she was on a boat, but... So the, the ocean is crazy bad for... Yeah. Anything sophisticated, basically. Oh, shit. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be like the biggest story of the year? Which to be fair, finding out that a legendary or not a legendary figure, but like a big figure from uh, okay. That's why we need to the past was it's suddenly not dead the way everybody thought he was. Yeah. Would kind of be a big story. <laughs> hey! Wow. Why, why would yep. you do, like I know she's stupid or at least do, doing some stupid things there but she's hot she is totally hot yeah oh, <laughs> hold on come on hold on kid I'm not as young so the first kid. game is not nearly as good as the second game the second game is like the best game in the series why didn't we start with the second game because there's a lot of stuff that happens in the second game is dependent on what happens in the first game Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just get you the remaster of this so that we can play it with real graphics. Hang in there, old timer. How is this not real graphics? This is still pretty good. <laughs> eh. All right, so now we're I gotta remember how to play. Oh, thanks, tutorials. All right. So I gotta remember how to play by using Kill the this monkey. Oh. What? No, I'm not gonna. You missed your chance. <laughs> The other thing that was cool about this game, which, uh, judging by the copyright, came out eight years ago, <laughs> um, is that they had, like, this is, like, one of the first games that had water effects. Um, and I don't mean, like, water effects like you splash through puddles and shit like that. I mean, his clothes get wet and then dry out, which was a big fucking deal. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, they do that incredibly well in GTA Five. Yeah. Like, it even only gets wet as deep as you go. Same in this game. But this game did it, you know, seven years earlier. Yeah. There's nothing here, Nate. A goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Also, I like that he's carrying a gun. Just in case. It seems like a necessity if you're going to be going off into uncharted jungle. Get it? Uncharted? Ha ha ha. We have a title drop. Yay. The achievement for finishing the game is charted. <laughs> Alright, so we got God, some ruins. Spoiler alert, man. Oh, t- Game's ruined for me forever. Oh, the motion blur. Oh, God. Alright, so now I gotta figure out how to get up. Does anyone else? Do you just like turn off motion blur in every yes, game that lets you do God's it? For God's sake, yes! I hate it so much. I, I don't know why. I, literally every game seems obsessed with it, but I'm just constantly turning it off. Oh, it's it drives me nuts. I'm like, you know what? I pay for graphical fidelity. Why would you blur that out? If you're going to be doing motion blur, just, just a tiny, tiny amount that, so that I don't even really notice that it's there would be the way to go. Right. But when I'm, like, turning 180 degrees and can't see anything for a second Ooh. because it's all blurred to shit, nobody likes that. I mean, this game is... There's something funny about the ground down there. Something funny about the ground down there. Wow. Such a platformer. Well, remember Tomb Raider Origins. We gotta find a way to smash through this. All right, then let's find a way to smash through things. I was really hoping the way to smash through it was just gonna be you jumping off onto it. No, not quite. Remember, action movie. Why go big? Or why go small when you can go big? And this is where the the whole monkey grappling from Tomb Raider influence starts to show. <laughs> we. This was definitely a time when parkour was big, too. First Assassin's Creed's were coming out. Uh, I think the first Assassin's Creed was not out when this game came out. 
I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's the but case. I, like that, that those were really early games on the 360 and PS3. Yeah. And this is another really early game. Bats. I, I, this might have be, beaten it out the door. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, around the same time period, regardless. Dude, dude. Also, I love the way he turns his body to go downstairs really quick. I don't know why. <laughs> I think that's something most like most people do. Yeah, because you don't want to put your full foot down. You might miss. Unless they're just running down two or three steps at a time. Yeah. Which is incredibly unsafe. <laughs> Easier to go upstairs that way. So, Drake is actually really smart. <laughs> so he knows a lot of history and stuff because he's a Tomb Raider. Really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs well, in dude. Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and well, just a few bad. Deals. Also, Sully is a notorious womanizer. Stay away from the bad guys and the bad girls. Because yeah. he's a silver fox. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Man, Drake's hair is just perfect, right? Despite being in a jungle and jumping and rolling around everywhere. Oh, you're not even going to talk about Sully's perfect quaff? Well, I mean, his is obviously, like, greased back, so I, that's that's a little more believable to me. That shit wouldn't move for the apocalypse. <laughs> so, um, one of the big things about this game that people really, you know, questioned when they uh, they saw it was the fact that gunpowder barrels explode despite being here for 500, 600 years. <laughs> well, that's like every video game that has exploding barrels, they never make any sense. Yeah. Propane tanks do not just explode from a shot or two. But it's way more fun to have them do that, so we do. True. Also, um, if a barrel was colored red, of course it will explode. Here, let me do that. Um... The, the, uh, you know who wrote this game, right? Nope. Um, did you ever play any of the Legacy of Cain games? Nope. Okay. Are you aware of the Legacy of Cain games and how they have the, ridiculously complicated stories and such? The name is familiar, right, but that's about it. Um, same person that wrote all of those games wrote this game. Wow, really? Yeah, it's, that's good trivia that doesn't mean anything to you, so... No, the, the wow really was in response to that little wagon somehow holding up the door as long as it did. Oh, well, that's why it broke. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Oh, huh, something was... in Drake's journal. Let's take a look. That was Keep... real, like, the fact that they're trapped in there and they don't seem bothered by that at all. Okay. They, they really don't. There it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. Mm. See if you can light it. Is that how that's pronounced? Brazier? Brazier. How do you pronounce it? I don't know. I thought it was like brazier or something. No, a brazier is something very, very different. Well, that's a, 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 a brazier. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So check this out. We lit it, but it's not enough to get us into the next room. So All naturally, right. being Tomb Raiders, we got to burn everything. Because if there's literally one thing I know, everything, <laughs> it's that smoke in an enclosed space is a great idea. Absolutely. Also, fire goes out immediately wow, after that it's is done some burning stuff. Ridiculous fire. <laughs> All right, so then we got to go like this. I, I think that's what I'm gonna do with this game: is just pick apart how ridiculous everything is forever. I suppose that's fair. Ooh. Uh, I believe the trope for this is ruins for ruins sake or um, uh, what the hell is the word um, Ragnarok proof death traps or something like that I don't know I don't spend time on TV tropes I've spent far too much time on TV tropes All right. I can tell. hey look a ladder oh, come on down Sully oop wrong button no, re Make sure to shoot Sully a couple times to get him to hurry up. <laughs> Sully, you old bastard, move faster. I'm sure he'll come down the ladder faster if you put a bullet in him. Well, yeah, but then he might not move ever again. 
This game seems like it would actually be better as a co-op game where someone was controlling Sully. They actually, in Uncharted 3, set up a um, a co-op multiplayer game that mm. has its own story that draws characters from across the series and makes them work together. And at first, uh, my friend and I were playing it, and we were like, these just seem like really cool co-op levels. You start one off, you're tied to a pole, and you do some other st- and you have to break out and fight your way out. But it turns out that they're all connected into a coherent story that just ignores canon. Huh. Which is pretty cool. So. What do you make of this? I like the uh, Wait, I Portal 2's co-op was pretty great, too. Yeah. It's only really fun once, though. The once you know the puzzles, it's just like, hurry up and figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be a stupid puzzle that's really easy. But okay. takes a while to do, so... So we have to push... The one on the upper left, bottom right, bottom left, upper right. So, got to find it. It is over there. Wee. Wee. And that causes a thing to happen. And that's going to cause another thing to happen so that we can continue on next time on Character Select. Oh, snap. Oh, snizzity snap. I went there. You know what you can do about it? Nothing. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Remember Hope to like, comment, in. and subscribe. What he said. All of them at once. <laughs>